It's been almost five years since The Mandalorian Season 1 aired on Disney+, Plus, yet the Star Wars franchise still has yet to explain why the client wanted Grogu dead. Werner Herzog's nameless client is the first true antagonist of The Mandalorian. By hiring Din Djarin to find and secure Grogu, the client is responsible for setting the entire story of the show in motion. Nevertheless, the client's real angle on Grogu's capture remains shrouded in mystery. It's evident the client works for Moff Gideon who clearly wants Grogu alive, yet the client actively tries to have Grogu killed. The Mandalorian Season 3 reveals Gideon's true reason for wanting Grogu. Grogu's midichlorian-rich blood allows Gideon to create four sensitive clones of himself. In other words, Gideon steals Palpatine's idea of creating a more powerful clone. Star Wars has made it quite clear that extracting midichlorian blood from a living host is essential. But the client sends IG-11 with orders to kill Grogu, and after Jaren delivers the child, the client orders Dr. Pershing to dispose of the asset once the necessary information has been extracted. In short, the client seems to be acting against Moff Gideon's wishes. Moff Gideon may have ordered the client to capture or kill Grogu. If the Empire can't have Grogu, no one can. The client speaks to Moff Gideon on a call in The Mandalorian Season 1, Episode 7. The most unlikely theory is that Gideon secretly instructed the client to bring Grogu in either alive or dead. This seems impossible since Pershing clearly states to the client that their boss ordered Grogu to be delivered alive. However, the client's pragmatic instructions to Din Djarin could potentially have come from Gideon himself. Gideon needed Grogu alive to study the midichlorians in his blood, but he was not the only one searching for the child at the time. In other words, if Gideon couldn't have Grogu alive, then no one else could either. While this theory seems to go against Gideon's wishes, it's possible that Gideon didn't realize the delicate nature of midichlorian cloning at that time. He may also have been searching for Grogu on behalf of the Imperial Shadow Council for Project Necromancer. Only after he received Grogu's intel did he realize how truly valuable the child was. Nevertheless, while this theory explains why the client sent out so many tracking fobs, some with orders to kill rather than capture, it fails to explain why the client wanted to kill Grogu rather than deliver him to Gideon. The client could have his own agenda. He might be looking for a promotion. The client and baby Yoda from The Mandalorian. Despite being hired by Moff Gideon, it's clear the client takes matters into his own hands when it comes to Grogu. The client may have realized just how valuable Grogu was to Gideon and the other Imperials working on Project Necromancer. And while he couldn't directly disobey them, he may have subtly been working to sabotage their plans. By having Grogu accidentally killed, he would weaken his commanding officers, potentially paving a way to ascend the ladder. It's also possible the client even hated Gideon, and wanted Grogu dead out of pure spite. While the mysterious client did have some sort of status within the Imperial Remnants, he also acted subservient to Moff Gideon. Having Grogu killed outright would have been too blatantly disobedient. Instead, he gave preferable orders to capture to Din Djarin, the supposed best bounty hunter in Parsec. Meanwhile, he also gave multiple orders to kill to other bounty hunters, like IG-11, in hopes one of them may kill Grogu and ruin Gideon's machinations. However, when Jaren proved to successfully capture Grogu, the client begrudgingly allowed Pershing to collect samples, then ordered Grogu to be executed rather than deliver him to Gideon. The client may have wanted to stop Project Necromancer. He could be a double agent for the New Republic. Emperor Palpatine arrives at Mount Tantus flanked by guards and speaks to Dr. Hemlock. Rather than kill Grogu for his own gain, it's also possible the client was actually a double agent for the New Republic. His history and status as an ex-Imperial may have given him clearance to know about Project Necromancer and Palpatine's desire to return. By putting the pieces together on his own, he realized Grogu would be used for some nefarious cloning purpose, and therefore sought to dispose of him. By sacrificing Grogu, he hoped to end any chance of Palpatine's return. This theory has merit for several reasons. The client doesn't necessarily seem to be an entirely bad Imperial. He tells Din that he's glad to see the Besker back in the hands of a Mandalorian, suggesting he believed the Empire was wrong to take it in the first place. Similarly, he also respects Mandalorian craftsmanship at the end of the series and compliments Din's exquisitely made armor. But in any case, this theory helps explain why Gideon was killed the client at the end of The Mandalorian Season 1. The client may have been double-dipping with another interested party. He may have just wanted more money. One of the more plausible theories for why the client wanted Grogu dead has to do with him hedging his bets. Gideon wasn't the only interested party in Grogu, 
Grogu was being held by Nikto mercenaries. So while Gideon needed Grogu alive for his midichlorian blood, there were other parties who wanted Grogu dead rather than see him fall into the hands of the Imperial remnants. To this end, the client secretly hired himself out to other parties, in addition to Gideon. That way, regardless of whether Grogu came back dead or alive, the client would be paid handsomely. Even though Din successfully delivered Grogu alive, the client believed he could still rake in the double payment from the party that wanted him dead. By extracting and sending the midichlorian information to Gideon, the client would be paid. But by having Pershing kill Grogu, he could also hope to be paid by those that wanted the child dead. In other words, the client was cheating Gideon out of Grogu in order to earn even more money. This also explains why Gideon was so willing to kill the client at the end of The Mandalorian.